Welcome to How To in Vegas, and I'm Steph, the video guy, and uh, we are going to be doing how to operate the pan and crop tool. The pan and crop tool is a huge, huge part of uh, how to uh, use Sony Vegas. So, all right, so I'm going to drop an event down to the timeline. So I've got one of these MOVs from my uh, digital SLR. And I've got some aerial footage here. I'm just going to grab some aerial footage and I'm going to drop it in. All right, I'm going to turn off loop playback. Here we go. So you can see what the footage looks like in the preview. Really shaky and crappy. That's me. <laughs> anyway, I, let's take a look. Here's the event pen crop tool. So I'm going to select that. And I'm going to move this over to here because that would give us a little more real estate there we go okay put that up there there we go that's the cool thing about vegas is that you can move things around and not have to worry about uh you know having things in the way okay so open up the pan crop tool there we go the event pan crop and we see that uh, that's the clip it's uh, cropping. And we've got uh, the properties here. Let me show or get rid of. Normal edit tool, which I always use. You can always zoom. But zooming, you can always just use the, uh, the wheel on your mouse. So I don't use that. Uh, snapping, so that way if you want to snap it into place, so you're move it out you see it's snapping all over the place there there we go we get rid of that because you know you can just hit shift when you're moving things around and it snaps it so just shift move and it'll snap it into place also you can just go right click and go restore it'll restore it back to where it was there you go now uh, what we've got here is locked lock aspect ratio now if you take a look at this, you see what's happening in the preview window? So everything outside of the pan crop is just black. Alright. You'll notice it's doing something strange. Uh, that's because it'll only show as wide as it is. There we go. So let's go restore. And you see what it's doing. Now, if you're trying to think about how this is going to work with the other tools in Vegas, um, just think about the fact that um, this just changes how you look at the uh, at the object. It doesn't change the object itself. It's just pretty much how how you're looking at it. I'm going to turn that back on. This, this is what happens otherwise. See the look way you're looking at it it's changed so here is size about center so basically see it'll go to the right or the, to the left whichever opposite corner you're pointing to so I like center because that means that when you're doing I'll, I'll show you the uh, the tweening but when you're doing tweening uh, it'll always tween to the center and then move freely move freely is just up down yeah, side to side so oh I see there we go you can select side to side up or down and it keeps it in that uh, on that plane so I'll restore that all right so let's look at the other part of this which is this this sucker down here now this guy it has a position, which is the main keyframing position for uh, where the position is going to be. I'll go to the end here, selecting still the position. See, it's highlighted. We're going there, then I'll go like that. And as we play through, you, because it's so dramatic, you won't really be able to tell on the preview. But as we're going through this, notice that is getting smaller and smaller. If we were to make that dramatically smaller, 
would definitely be able to notice on this. You see? See how it gets smaller? And it's automatically animated. So, and you can basically change it like this. You don't want it to go outside, otherwise you get these black parts here. If I'm, you can go in, move it around, do whatever you want. I'm going to sit back to move freely. There we go. Now, like I said, you don't really want it to move out like this because then you'll, you'll get the outsides that are not in the right place. Okay, so there's the animation aspect. And you can put a keyframe anywhere along here. You could move up, down, over. Now, as we play through, you see how it's moving around. Yeah, so it's dramatically moving like that. So, Oh, really probably don't use that a lot but uh, you can now on the bottom here there's another thing called mask now if I go into mask you can create masks as you see as I'm doing a selection the preview window it's showing exactly what I'm doing so it's showing what is masked so basically you can add multiple masks and here it'll allow you to feather and uh, this allow you to do different types of options here you can select you can do all sorts of different shapes and those will just stay in your frame you can also animate those ones. So, uh, let's see, what do I have here? Let's grab the normal edit tool for the masks, and we can move these around. So, there's one. All right, come on. There we go. Oh, oh. See, you can do Bezier on those as well. So, you want to be careful how you're uh, how you're dealing with that. Oh yeah, see it's a little bezier around. See what's what's happening. We were animating too, so you have to consider that. Let's make sure that we're on the mask and on the keyframe. Alright, so I don't uh I don't like to animate masks, but uh, see as we go through you can see you know, if you move things around, it'll animate to it. Yeah, it's it's a interesting can be an interesting effect. But uh, there you have it. You can do um, see the the anchor creation tool, so you can create anchors within a within a vector, and then grab that, move it around, and grab a corner, move it around grab individual points. It's not the most advanced uh, busy system, but uh, you see it animates. But that's how you do the mask. See, uh, it gives you a good opportunity to just get rid of little parts of, of the, the video that you have. And here I, I deleted them, but uh, you can still see where they were, I think, for um, in case you wanted to to do that yourself. Okay, so um, I think that's pretty much it. You can save a preset. So, for instance, let's see. I'm going to go into Trimmer again. I'm going to drop that back in. Okay, that's in, and then we'll select this. So let's say I, I wanted to zoom in and put a slight tilt to it. Now I know that it, with this particular clip, you can't really see what's going on. You can see how, how it changes right there. You can also save this preset. So let's say zoom tilt, hit save, and then any try, anytime you want to drop in another video, then you put that video in, go up here, then it'll be right there. See? And then I'll do that zoom tilt for you. 
You can do that with any uh, um, media as well. So say you've got uh, a test pattern. I know you're not going to do this in the real in a real situation, but just showing you what the options are. There we go. Zoom tilt. Now you'll really be able to see how it changes. Let me make sure the preview's up here. All right. So I didn't animate that. So I can go like that. Go back to the set start. Hit restore, and there's the animate. There we go. See how it goes. So there we go. So here's the options for the media generator. You can uh, on a you know a solid color. You can uh, change the color. Do whatever you want. So the preview is showing that. You can also animate colors if you want. So you go. Let's say the color. Let's put the animate on there. Let's go like this, and then move it over to here. Let's just see how that animates. Show the preview. See the color changing? There we go. Animating colors is uh, definitely one of the things that that made me go wow. So, uh, Sony's pretty. Uh, Vegas is pretty powerful. So. But there we go. I think that's uh, showing you everything there is to, to see within the, the pan crop. The, uh, the pan crop is definitely the number one tool um, that you're going to use in Vegas. It's, it's powerful. If you have any questions, please ask me. If you have any other tutorials you'd like to see, write them down. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.